it's the next day because the bag took a lot longer to dry and we were going out as you probably would have seen in my first vlog that went out when I was in were here so the bag is now lovely and clean it smells really nice logo still there thankfully and the bellows they've all been on the filler tube that's all been uh, cleaned as well so I'm just gonna put this band on temporarily for now there we go so what I'm gonna do is attach this bag back onto the bellows just try and get it in the right position and yep yeah, that's right so now I need to put the screw back through Started, it'll be fine. It's just a wee bit tricky because I pulled it out of the way. Come on. There we go, we caught it. Let's make sure that's in the right position. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to tighten this up. Gonna draw the bag together. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Uh, now I'm gonna take one of my SIBO bags, and scissors. around chop around the top no. I'm just gonna make sure that this is nice and straight and even Then now I'm going to put the bag onto the filler tube. Make sure it's on evenly, and then roll up, roll up the barrel, roll up the rubber ring which is never easy to put on believe me no wonder James Dyson got sick of doing this on his mother's old Hoover Junior still no excuse for brainwashing the UK the world right so let's uh, tighten that up Oh, you would have seen in my vlog I when we went to the um, the store called the Good Guys, which is a bit like um, Curry's. We um, I got to try the Dyson V10, and I was really impressed with it. It was really good. Always a bagger to get on. Hang on, let me come up. Oh, shit, I can't 
try it from the other end. Let's see if this makes it easier. Maybe it doesn't. God, this is really hard. Come on, you bugger. There we go. On. Yes. Ouch. Fight the fight. No. Let's put one of Uncle Nolly's air fresheners into it. There's another guy who's just started a YouTube channel, American. Um, awesome Dyson's, was it Awesome Vacuums? Peter, oh, I'll put it up. Uh, awesome Vacuums Peter, I think it's called. I'll check now. Pop in the air freshener. Zip up the bag. Attach this back on. And there we go. Held into position. Put the bag on the spring. And that's it. We are ready to go. So as you saw, that is a brand new bag that went into this Hoover convertible. What I'm gonna do now is a house demo with you guys and at the end of the house demo, we will see how good or and how much stuff this vacuum has actually picked up out of the carpet. So they've got some really nice luxury thick carpet there. Uh, shaggy, high, medium and low. So we'll start it on medium. So we'll take it inside, we will go around, we will do the vacuuming, and then we'll have a look at the bag then and see how good it's actually done. So let's go inside. Okay, so we're in the good room, and you can see the machine there, it's all plugged in. So let's start here. And move you back. And we'll start up that end, go on. Okay, let's go.
we have a problem. Okay, let's put this back on. And let's continue.
Dinka, my little whippersnappers. We have finished the house clean. You'll have to excuse me because I've picked up, we both have, uh, Happy Lux and I have both picked up some bug from the aeroplane, so we're a bit teetering on the edge of having a cold, so I sound a little bit funny. Because when you're trapped in an aeroplane for 24 hours with 450 other people, spreading all their bugs and germs around in a pressurized tin can, you yes. pick up something. So, and I'm, I'm gutted because I had my flu injection yeah. um, November, and I haven't had a cold or a sniffle all year. Yes. Nothing at all. Bloody airplanes. I'm on the plane. And I feel like death warmed up. Anyway, so we have done the demo. And as you can see, those really, really thick luxury carpets. Um, on, the sh on the long rug in the living room, I did put it on shaggy. And then dropped it down a bit. But on the other carpets, um, and then the flatter carpets, then I put it even lower. And it worked everything out really, really well. So what we want to see now is exactly what this picks up. Now... Before I do that, this here is Mum's daily driver, and it is a 2,000 watt piranha. So I think that could be a shark knockoff, and it's called a piranha. We'll come back to this in a second. So Mum vacuums every other day, all throughout the house, using this piranha. And what we have got here is a 1970 something or other, old Hoover convertible. And let's just have a look. Now, if I let the bag out, I can see that that bag is pretty, it's not, it, it, it's, it's not full. But if I remove the bag and I'm gonna show you guys in the camera, if I put you, I'm gonna have to put you down so I can't see it. And then I'm gonna put you down here. And then we're gonna have a look under the bright lights. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Whoops. Dun, dun, dun. That is what that Hoover convertible has picked up. Let me see if I can put you down even further directly over the light so that you can see inside the bag that's what it's picked up so I'm gonna show dad and that was vacuumed the day before yep and that was vacuumed all through the day before using the piranha and that is what it has picked up and the majority of that is pet fur and dust ground into the carpet dust which was deep into the carpet and the beating action of the hoover convertible beats the carpet and then the new brushes on it swept it all up and put it inside this SIBO bag which has not leaked at all anywhere on the outside you can see how good these bags are that nothing has left it unlike a paper bag this has contained everything inside it with all these multi layers I'll take a photograph of it for you to put it on. So let me turn you around and get uh, back onto the bench and we finish off the video. Okay, right, so there we go. You've seen what it has picked up and how good these old machines are. Let's just give this a bit of a spritz. Oh, hang on, I gotta turn the power on. So I'm just going to take off the bits of dust that are on it. Scissors. I'm gonna put 
a bag back on it and then this is done then and ready to go back to uh, England I'm going to keep it now <laughs> yeah we'll have to find another one though okay so where did I put the belt I'm going to put the band around this way I found it a bit easier to put it on pop the bag over You can hear the rain on the old tin roof. Roll this belt over the bag. Find its spot. There we go. Just roll it back one. Uh, the air freshener is still inside. There we go. Stay in there, Mr. Air Freshener. Zip it back up, zip it back down, zippy zippy, and there we go, done and dusted. So we have the American style Hoover convertible in the UK, this was the Hoover Senior or the Hoover Ranger, whatever you want to call it, uh, done, dusted, polished, clean, demoed and ready to be packed up to go. So thank you very much for watching, please comment, like and subscribe. This is just the first in the series of the Australian videos I'm going to do. This was more of a fuller refurb. The other ones mainly are going to be like quick reviews. Also a washing machine video coming up that I'm going to do today. So the next video will be on the washing machine, uh, doing a demonstration on that. And then we will come back and have a look at the other machines and take a look at this and see how these run and some of the other ones which are over there, which are all in the lineup for the tip, apart from one. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for dad for being producer and carry and fetcher and everything and for making this studio which is absolutely beyond words fantastic i know you guys are gonna love it and i'll see you in the next video bye y'all So I've taken you off the tripod a second because I have put, or well Dad has put up here a map. So this is Australia, well the southern part of Australia, southern Victoria. Victoria. There's New South Wales up there. So there's the city of Melbourne. There's the second city closest to where we are now, which is Geelong. And then we're out here in Teesdale. Uh, we've been as far as... Where, 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 um, what was it called where we went fishing? Yamba. Yamba. Is that Portland Bay? Uh, just before. There we go, Yamba. So we've been there, we went camping there in the caravan in Yamba. And then there's Warren. Warren. Am, Warren. Am, Warnable. Warnable. There's Warnable. Is that where Kerman's Burgers are? Yes. We had Kerman's Burgers there in Warnable. There's Ballarat, and there's a St. Easton. So what Dad has also printed out as well, he didn't print out the boomerang, he uses that to catch wallabies, is here we have the whole of England, and, we, and the map has put it next to just one tiny part of um, Victoria. Victoria, and that is just a part of Victoria. And that's the whole of the uh, the whole of England, yeah. and there, so it literally, the whole of England only took up this little part, which is basically just around the city of Melbourne. So, it's really hard to imagine how far away all these different places are. And this isn't just this this isn't the whole of Australia even. This is only uh, this is only Victoria. So there we go, and here we can see on the map. in a land down under. And for all those flat earthers who think that we are 
brainwashed on the aeroplane on the way over and we're not actually in Australia because they say Australia doesn't exist that we're actually in New Zealand well I can tell you you're a bunch of nongs and a bunch of idiots because this does not look like a dream to me does it, it does not look like I've been sedated and it's definitely not New Zealand so all you nongs that believe on the flat earth you need to go and get a lobotomy okay right so Back to the vacuum, let's get to it.